welcome to story time that looks like me. I'm Dr. J and today I have Jaylis. Yeah. And we have a book for you. Honestly, guys, I used to have this book when I was a kid. And so as soon as I had kids, I bought them this book. It is a Caldecott Honor book. We love that. Um, what do we have today, Jaylis? Tide Beach. Bye. Thank you. Tar Beach, Tar Beach. I will always remember when the stars fell down around me and lifted me up above the George Washington Bridge. I could see our tiny rooftop with mommy and daddy and Mr. and Mrs. Honey, our next door neighbors, still playing cards as if nothing was going on. And Phoebe, my baby brother, lying real still on the mattress, just like I told him to. His eyes like huge floodlights, tracking me through the sky. Sleeping on Tar Beach was magical. Lying on the roof in the night with stars and skyscraper buildings all around me made me feel rich, like I owned all that I could see. The bridge was my most prized possession. Daddy said that the George Washington Bridge was the longest and most beautiful bridge in the world and that it opened in 1931 on the very day I was born. Daddy worked on that bridge, hoisting cables. Since then, I've wanted that bridge to be mine. Now I have claimed it. All I have to do was fly over it for it to be mine forever. I can wear it like a giant diamond necklace or just fly above it and marvel at its sparkling beauty. I can fly, yes, fly me, Cassie Louise Lightfoot, only eight years old and in the third grade and I can fly. That means I am free to go wherever I want for the rest of my life. Daddy took me to see the new union building he is working on. He can walk on steel girders high up in the sky and not even fall. They call him the cat. But still, he can't join the union because grandpa wasn't a member. Well, daddy is going to own that building cause I'm gonna fly over it and give it to him. Then it won't matter that he's not in their old union or whether he's colored or a half breed Indian, like they say. He'll be rich and won't have to stand on a 24 story high girder and look down. He can look at his building going up and mommy won't cry all winter when he goes to look for work and doesn't come home. And mommy can laugh and sleep late like Mrs. Honey and we can have ice cream every night for dessert. Would you like to have ice cream every night for dessert? Yeah. <laughs> Next, I'm going to fly over the ice cream factory just to make sure that we do.
tonight we are going up to Tar Beach. Mommy is roasting peanuts and frying chicken. And Daddy will bring home a watermelon. Mr. and Mrs. Honey will bring the beer and their old green card table. Yikes. <laughs> and then the stars will fall around me and I will fly to the Union Building. I'll take BB with me. He has threatened to tell mommy and daddy if I leave him behind. I have told him it's very easy. Anyone can fly. All you need is somewhere to go that you can't get any other way. The next thing you know, you're flying among the stars. We mentioned that this one is actually a Caldecott, but it also is a Coretta Scott King Award book. And so we have a bunch of those as well that we'll be sharing with you all. So that was Tar Beach. And so of course it's not a real beach and of course it's not really flying, but sometimes you wanna get somewhere and you have to use your imagination to get there. No matter who tries to hold you back or who tells you you can't go somewhere or own something or do something, you always have your imagination and getting lost in a good book is also another way to fly. Thanks guys for joining us for Story Times That Looks Like Me. I want you to subscribe to Doing It With The Dumases and turn on your notifications, silly, so that you get the ding every time we upload a new story. Bye guys, see you next time.